they had always said, you know, when you get a heart, this place will start going crazy and you'll start having activity. Um, and we started seeing that, but it was all, you know, outside of my door and, and didn't know what was going on really. And um, all of a sudden, one of the coordinators walked in the room and we knew something was going on, but we didn't know exactly what. And quickly um, after Dr. Bogave came in the room and said, it's yours. And I remember asking her, um, am I still on the list? Like still a match or is it, is it my heart? And she said, you have this heart. It is yours. It is 100% your number one. Um, you know, you're getting heart today. You know, I was so ill at this point that I remember um, Dr. Bogave saying, you know, how fast can we get her son here? How fast can we get Carter? Because he was with my um, uh, in-laws and they were about two hours away. And I remember Carter coming into the room and I remember getting to see him and uh, tell him I love him. And um, my family, most everybody was, was coming in. You know, my brothers and my mom and dad and, and my husband Kevin were already there, but everybody else was starting to kind of trickle in to, to see me before surgery. Um, and I got to, to say hi to everybody and, and just know that they were there supporting me. I remember going down in the elevator and all of my family being in one elevator, there was probably 15 of us in the elevator, and getting to say goodbye to everybody and, you know, I'm going to be great, no worries for me, just say some prayers and, um, you know, every, everything's going to be perfect, we're good. And getting to, to do that and then I don't even remember going through the doors. Um, and I remember um, slowly waking up the next morning and, uh, you know, having that intubation tube still in and being scared to death of that. That was my worst fear, was having the breathing tube in and getting, getting through that and um, starting the recovery process, knowing that I'm alive and my fingers and toes are warm. They hadn't been warm in a while. Um, and being able to breathe. I could lay down and breathe and that was unbelievable. Um, couldn't automatically feel my heartbeat that I had felt for months and months and months. Uh, that was a good feeling to not feel your heartbeat, which sounds absolutely crazy, but it was a wonderful feeling to not sit there and count your heartbeats and wonder, um, am I going to feel VTAC? You know, have that fear um, and just know that it was success. At that moment, you know, several hours later, the surgery was a success. have a new life. You've been given a new life by an amazing family and an amazing person who decided that it was important um, to be a donor and to give somebody the gift of life when it was their time um, and it was not needed anymore. And uh, that's probably the biggest struggle through a heart transplant for me was the emotional side of loving this family and this person that I don't know and that I don't know anything about and um, praying for them at the same time that I'm praying for myself and my health um, to, to be given a peace for, for both of us, for both their family and for me and my family, that this all works um, like it should.